Greetings everyone and welcome to the crib. Where today? We're taking a look at Mattel's 30th Anniversary Street Sharks. Ripster, Jab, and Slash. Dude, Street Sharks, man. What do y'all know about Street Sharks? Y'all know a damn thing about Street Sharks? Okay, Boomer. Street Sharks is 30 years old. I'll be 31 in August. Boomer. No, bro. Street Sharks was a sick ass. It was a sick ass cartoon from the 90s. Specifically, 94 to 97. Meant to ride the wave of the anthropomorphic superhero trend that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had started. Totally different from the Ninja Turtles. Except this was a lot cooler. At least in my opinion. Now that's a fresh take! Bro, Street Sharks was my jam. I had t-shirts, I had VHS's, I had these three figures. Where are they now? I don't know. Lost to time, unfortunately. Which is why it's such a big deal to have them back now. 30 years later. The premise of Street Sharks is basically there's these two scientists, one a good one and a one that They have this machine that like combines animals and people together. Dr. Paradigm being the evil doctor, takes Dr. Bolton, the good doctor's four sons, jams them up into this machine and makes them into the Street Sharks. Dude, I am not kidding. This show was my shit back in the day. That's my shit. Dude, they used to have these big ass hand puppets and I'd play with them some bitches in the bathtub. Hand shark! That's my shit! All lost to time, I guess. As compared to my other reviews, these are on the cheaper side. The more child-friendly side. So each figure comes with a action effect, which is really cool. And they each come with these sick-ass shark cages. How badass is that? Look, I know I've been blowing a lot of smoke. Yeah, just, it just had to be there. <laughs> Let's get them open. Damn it, man. I don't do mock collecting, but isn't this such a sick ass packaging? Like, damn it. It's just so nostalgic, and I don't really want to open them. Fuck it. Review over. Son of a bitch. And here we have the boys out of their cages. Dude, these things are sick, nasty. I absolutely love them, thick as hell. No, for real though, I'm, I'm really, I'm like really big into sharks and shit like that. Hammerheads are my favorite shark. Basking shark being a very close second. <laughs> and of course, great white. I'm, I'm like, I'm like a shark nerd. <laughs> And I'm like, bro, they're just so cool, man. Before we get started, I want to take a minute to show off these sick-ass shark cages that the boys come in. Love the slash marks in them. Big-ass hook. Hang them on the wall if you want to. Mix and match, of course. Let's take a look at Slash. Dude, Slash might possibly be the best figure here. The color and sculpting on him is fantastic. He's easily got the best articulation of the boys. And... He's got that cool ass Big Daddy Drill. Uh, drill does come separate. Simply pop it on his nose. Um, no ankle articulation. Get a little bit of a bend in the knee. Not much range in the thighs. No ab crunch. Dude, look at look at them. Look at those teeth, man. Look at the sculpting on that face. Got the Dr. Piranha logo. These sick ass claws. Dude, bro, the scale. The scales look so sick. Merman feet, and of course we got the button in the back. Dude, he is sick as hell. Of course everybody wants the street shark figure, but dude, a quick comparison with my 3-0 Studios Big Daddy. I mean, come on bro, Size, sizes and everything. Uh, and here we have Slash up next to our last review. Fantasy Girls for Summer Vivian Hi Hi. And here we have a closer look at Jab, the hammerhead. Ooh, that's kind of ugly. Ugly. He likes to use his head. Um, the shark characters have this sick ass. I mean, I know it's like just thin rubber, but shark skin touch technology. He's got the feel real shark skin. I will say, they definitely don't smell like they used to back in the day. Like, I can just distinctly remember my street shark figures smelling a certain way. Look, bro, I remember that smell like it was yesterday. <laughs> um, he's got the sick ass Billy Butcher boots going on. Look great. The camo pants. I don't know, man. I'm getting crisp and wild vibes from here. 
<laughs> not a good thing. Articulated jaw. Boom, Jab's secret function is push his right arm back and his head extends. Dude, look at the sculpting. Spine work there. Bro, that's a Brock Lesnar tattoo if I've ever seen one. Same thing on the other side. So yeah, that's cool. Um, his back fin opens the bottom jaw. He's got this sick ass brown gold champagneish metallic in the paint. Love that. I do love the painting and the sculpt work. He's freaking jawsome. Here we have the new jab street sharp up next to the SH figure arts katana man. Why? And here we have Jab up next to our last review, Vivian. Flying headbutt. And here we have Rips, the leader. He's the leader of the Street Sharks. Dude. He's sick. Like, dude, of course, Ripster is the coolest looking one. Cowboy boots, the shredded black jeans, the abs. Dude, he's a fucking great white shark. Ripster also has the sick ass shark touch technology and a sick ass metallic blue it's definitely more blue on camera but in person it's much more of a blue purple iridescent like it's crazy the arms are definitely more metallic than the body crazy bro mouth details are awesome teeth details are awesome eyes and his scratches dude these are so cool uh ripster also comes with a secondary action simply turn him at the waist and let him go. You don't want that ripster work. <laughs> Point is, the figure's sick as hell. Put a little bit of bullshit on his nose. And here we have the anthropomorphic shark up next to the anthropomorphic chainsaw. Ripster and chainsaw man. And here we have our last review, Vivian about to lose her foot to go along with her own. Oh my God, has that nipple been out the entire time? <laughs> So, what do we think, man? Are these things freaking awesome? I think they're sick as hell and have been a long time coming for me. I've been wanting a Street Shark re-release for years and I finally have it. The only thing I need left is the rest of the boys and Slobster. Good God, I think I had an ex named Slobster. Streaks and Big Slamu though, that, that, that's, that's a no-brainer right there. With that being said, I give the Mattel 30th Anniversary Street Sharks Jab Slash and Ripster the rating of What the hell is that? Let's get the hell out of here.